break down the discovery rubric. Yes, I know you're sick of the rubric down into statements. Then I'm going to find an example from Jane Harrison's 2005 play, Rainbow's End, that supports each statement, which will start with the phrase, Discovery may be. So let's get started. Discovery may be for the first time. In Rainbow's End, Gladys discovers her voice, speaking with powerful rhetoric and passion on behalf of the Aboriginal people. For the first time, she realises her own power to influence others and advocate for change. The speech Gladys makes at the end of the play reveals her transformation into a confident and articulate woman who demands the right for Aboriginals to be able to make their own decisions and have proper schooling and to be the equal of anyone. Discovery may be rediscovery. In Rainbow's End, Errol offers Dolly a better life, a real home, and the world. Errol's condescending beliefs are the catalyst for Dolly to realise the value of her own family and culture. Discovery may be sudden and unexpected. The most unexpected discovery in Rainbow's End is Nan Deer's revelation to Dolly that a white Australian with the surname of Fisher raped her. Therefore, Gladys is not Papa Deer's daughter, which will have significant ramifications for Gladys' self-identity if she learns the truth. For Dolly, Nandi's revelation means that she may be related to Errol, making a sexual relationship between them taboo. Discovery may be a process. Errol's discovery of Nan, Deer, Gladys and Dolly is serendipitous. He takes a wrong turn when selling encyclopedias. This wrong turn is the inciting incident of the play. Errol transforms the lives of Nan, Deer, Gladys and Dolly. And in doing so, he also transforms his own life. The process of discovery for each character to achieve this transformation is tumultuous. Discovery may be fresh and meaningful, spiritual, physical, intellectual, creative and emotional. Errol and Dolly's first love is fresh and meaningful, and, of course, emotional. Although awkward, their connection is tangible. In the 1950s, a multiracial relationship was likely to cause the participants to be ostracised. However, ridicule does not deter them. Errol never wavers in his desire to be with Dolly. Whilst Dolly always loves Errol, she feels she cannot be with him because she is damaged after the rape, and she believes that Errol may be her kin. Discovery may be confronting and provocative. Dolly's rape concludes Act 1. This horrific act of sexual violence is confronting for both the characters and the audience. The rape is the pivotal moment of the play, marking a moment of transition for all the characters. Importantly, the rape occurs during a flood. Floods are a recurring motif in the play, symbolising change. There is a cleansing after this flood. Secrets are revealed which will result in a cathartic resolution. Indeed, each character transforms in the second half of the play. For Dolly, her transformation is to move from childhood to adulthood. Discovery may be the path to a new world and new values. Nandi, Gladys and Dolly live in a world alien to Errol. His exposure to this world transforms his concept of family. Initially, Errol views the Aboriginal women through a condescending patriarchal lens. However, Dolly challenges Errol's understanding of the concepts of home and family, puncturing his belief that the non-Indigenous world is superior to the Indigenous world. Discovery may be the path to new understandings and perceptions. Nandi's discovery that Errol is not a real fisher transforms her understanding and perception of him. Suddenly, he becomes a viable option for Dolly to love and marry. Nandir is able to see beyond Errol's skin colour and surname to his innate kindness. Discovery may be impacted by an individual's personal, cultural, historical and social contexts and values. Jane Harrison's context as a playwright impacts what she privileges and omits in Rainbow's End. Harrison was commissioned to write a play about Indigenous heroes in the 1950s. Her personal context as an Aboriginal woman 
deeply influenced her decision to write about three Indigenous women, whose simple struggle to survive represented the heroic resilience of Indigenous women during the 1950s. Discovery may be far-reaching and transformative. Gladys' simple discovery of the Hessian Wall is the catalyst for the more significant discovery of the divide between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. White Australians erected the Hessian Wall to obscure the Indigenous housing from the Queen, concealing the squalor of the Indigenous humpies. Discovery may be questioned or challenged and reassessed over time. As responders reading or watching Rainbow's End 60 years after it is set, we unconsciously and consciously question, challenge and reassess the values and attitudes represented in the play. In particular, the social prejudice and racism in the 1950s is confronting as it forces us to question to what extent the lives of Indigenous Australians have improved in contemporary Australia. Discovery may be different in its ramification for different individuals. Nandy's discovery that Errol is not a real fisher has different ramifications for Errol, Dolly and Nandy. Suddenly, Nandy is able to see beyond his white skin and surname, and she likes him. It is permissible for Errol and Dolly to be in a relationship. Nan is able to cast aside her prejudices. And that's it. I encourage you to go and find other examples and more quotes. Remember, you will need to analyse techniques, which I haven't done in this video. So for all Year 12 students, good luck. I hope you found the video to be helpful. Thank you so much for watching.